Welcome back, everybody. This is Jason Seekers. We are going to continue our little teddy bear illustration. Uh, at the end of the last video, we had completed all of the hard part. Pen tool is done, and all we need to do now is basically start to add in our brushes. We'll do a simple uh, black and white coloring, and then we'll do a little bit of fancy stuff with half tones, uh, as well as kind of roughen our lines to get a little bit more of a uh, vintage illustration or book illustration. So at the end of the last video, what we did is we created a new or we basically duplicated out our inking just so we still have them. We also have all of our brushes out. What we can also do is hide our template layer. And let's just zoom in so we can see our little guy here. Good, and let's just do some basic stuff first. All we're really looking to do is um, Let's just see what I want here. I want a big, that looks good. Uh, what we are looking to do is anytime there's a floating edge, that is a good signal to have tapered on both sides. So you'll see that there's quite a few of those on this guy. If there's any time where it's going into line, so both of those edges are connecting, that would be a good signal to have kind of our fat on both end lines. And sometimes it'll just be fat on one end and then tapered. So a lot of times you'll see our tongue have kind of a, a fat to skinny approach. And I still will do a fat to skinny over here. All right, good. Let's do some of these hard ones. I don't even think they're that hard to be honest with you. Uh, 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 uh. What we might do, let's do something. Let's do something here. So what I want to do is scissor tool. And notice we have, and we're going to modify this line a little bit. So I want to basically do a little, see here, it's going to bounce on you. So just relax for a second. We are going to get rid of that guy. I want it to drop. And right through here, see. And let's just delete that guy. Okay, so now I want a fat taper. Now we're going to go fat taper. So it's going to go fat up here. This one is going to be the opposite. It's going to go fat to skinny. Oh, sometimes, guys, that looks good. So I like that better. And so this way it goes, it still continues. This is still hinting at the side of our head, by the way. And it's going to still all the way go through. Good, good, good. So we're going to go fat to skinny. This is all going to get blacked out, so that one's really not that big of a deal. Let's go fat to go skinny. Fat, to, fat on both ends, basically. These are going to get filled in, but I do want to... Get rid of that. Let's just pop those guys up and see how we like them. That doesn't bother me. Let's do most of this and then we'll come back and do our hair. It's gonna go fat to taper. This is gonna go taper by the shoulder, fat by the hand. Let's do the same one, hopefully it'll work out. Good. Tapered on both ends. Fat up by the ice cream, taper. Let's go fat skinny. These can all hopefully go fat skinny as long as they go in the right direction. Good. Now anytime you see the little taper hanging out, just understand we're gonna go fat to skinny with the little taper coming out. But there's going to be quite a bit of the, what we're really looking for is those little hanging edges. So skinny, skinny. This one's going to be tapered on both ends. I say fat to skinny, good. Fat to skinny. And just so you can kind of see what the thought, every time we do this, we just look at the edges. And where do I want that taper to go? So there's a little bit of a thought process when you're doing it. 
let's just go fat on both ends. I might just leave that guy where it is for right now. Some of this is going to get filled in black, so that's why it's not that big of a deal. Okay, cool. Let's move it. That's going to go fat to taper. Now, anytime you see lines like this, let's just kind of zoom in a little bit, is if there's enough hanging over the edge, I would recommend to come in, get rid of it, especially if you want the edge to be really, really fat. That might be a good little solution. I, let's just zoom out. And I also do recommend zooming out just so you can see where what's overlapping what so you just don't get confused on your, your lines that much. This one for sure is going to go tapered. The back is going to go fat. And then it's going to be tapered by the knee. And again, if you ever see little corners pop out, so you can see the corner, grab that and just keep on dragging it on over. Good. Let's go taper, taper, or fat on both ends. Take that back. Fat, fat, good. This one's going to go fat to taper. Let's see where that ends. I say fat on both ends. Fat up here. Taping on both ends. I say, and every so often you'll see me do kind of the opposite of what I've been telling you, and that's just so these stay consistent in the toe. So that's what we're looking at. All right, I say fat on both ends. This one's going to not matter that much at all. Good, let's just do the shadow. That is going to go Shift X. Let's come over to Pathfinder. Let's just unite those right now. I can send them back. More than likely, you might be able to see those. It's not that apparent, though. Okay. That's going to get shaded out. Some of this we'll be able to clean up in with our eraser tool. Okay, so let's, let's have some fun. Now you could do either one, so I could go taper. I'm gonna see what our fat to taper looks like. And all we're really looking for is, this inside's gonna get deleted. Totally up to you guys if you want to extend these things out, but really what we're looking for is, notice on this outside, I want that to be the cleanest part. This inside, we're just going to clean up with our eraser tool. So you might be able to see it here where the top of the ear is popping out. So when we do this, we just want to double check that that basically disappears. And then also, this top one, you just want to make sure that you can kind of hide some of these edges a little bit. Because we're just going to want to have to delete the inside. That's really what we're looking for. Good. When we do the eraser tool, it'll make a little bit more sense too. But basically that top corner, that's where we're going to hide that little corner. Everything else is not going to matter. Good. And again, I can always move these points still. So what I'm looking for is this back, nice and smooth, going all the way up. This back corner is going to get deleted, so that's not that big of a deal. Good. I think we got one more hanging out over here. Let 
I'm gonna get rid of that guy. And I'm gonna take this one and just, this will be a little bit more of a subtle one. Good. Let's go control zero. Let's just see if we missed anything. The answer is always yes for some odd reason. Okay. And just so we can make our lives a little bit easier. There's that tiny bit of an overlap. I'm just going to hide that. And that's just so when we do our paint bucket that I don't have to worry about extra fills hanging out over there. Okay, file saved for sure. This is definitely the one that we want to save, by the way. This is the one that we've done a whole lot of work. So you want to make sure that we are definitely saving that guy. Duplicate brushes. This is going to be flat color. So what we are then going to do is once we say, hey, everything looks pretty good. I'm going to grab everything, by the way. We're going to go to expand. Hit it twice. Okay. Good, good, good. So now we're going to zoom in. Let's hide this. We don't need her. Don't need that. And all we're going to do is our eraser tool. So I'm going to give you the gist of this. And then we're going to basically crank through it pretty quick. I don't think me wa you guys watching me erase things is good TV. Shift E. But anytime it's overlapping, that is what we're getting rid of. So if you want to zoom in, one, I think zooming in helps, especially when you're doing just the erasing. Anytime lines are floating in the middle, that does not matter at all. All we are looking for is we're going to select it with the black arrow. I'm going to go Shift E. And I'm looking for any of these little hanging out corners that we no longer want. And then we're going to delete. So just notice that it only deletes the lines that we have selected. So I select it and then delete. So what I will do is I'll just crank through this and then when we, you, in 10 seconds here, it'll bounce to the final. What I would do is just pause it and then you can basically just erase on what you see. So it'll be zoomed out enough where you can see what lines are in front and that'll make your life quite easy. So I will just crank through this and then uh, and in two seconds it'll be magically done. All right, poof, we are done. So again, this would be a good little point to pause and then just double check your lines. So little tiny things with the ears or any of the fur, just notice that the inside line is nice and clean. And then we just wanted to double check that kind of the little tufts are kind of pointing in the direction and there's not any weird stray lines hanging out. So there, the inside line is what we are looking for. And then we just want that outside to be a little bit tufted out. But everything else, for the most part, looks pretty good. We're just doing a little bit of a boogie check here as we are finishing these up. Let's just delete out that guy. All right, good. Now it also, sometimes when you expand the brushes, you will get some stray points, you'll get some stray little bumps. So this would be another good little time to do that. But for the most part, everything looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do is just select everything. I take that back. I'm gonna select this, hold down shift, get rid of the shadow so we, don't, we can uh, do that later. That's basically already done. Come down to Pathfinder. And I do want to unite all of the black. Let's just hit it again. Sometimes it could... I think we are good. Okay, good, good, good. So what we are going to do, I will select our bear here. We're going to go to Object. We're going to drop down to Live Paint. Make. So let's just zoom in so you guys can see what's up. And now our goal whenever we're doing live paint, uh, especially with this guy, 
is we just want to fill all of our colors. So not only does it fill in the blacks and actually do the colors, but it'll actually create shapes. So it is a super 